Apologize or leave. Apologize or leave. General Muhozi tells US ambassador to leave Uganda. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful day. Thank you very much for choosing us again. It's very interesting. Africans are waking up to their strength, waking up to many things. I think we're going to try to find out what's happening right now. My name is Zach. We certainly don't know each other. If this is your first time, you are very welcome. Thank you very much for clicking and choosing us. By the time you leave here, we probably don't like each other. I don't know who you are. You may be a scam artist or a thief or a gangster or something. Nah, I'm just, just playing with you. Let's go. So we talk about many things here. We talk about Africa, diaspora. We talk about what's happening in the world but with the African perspective because we are tired of the mainstream media. Okay, so let's do this together. General Muhozi, this is Uganda. He's a senior chief in the army of Uganda. He's also the son of the president of Uganda. He said very clearly, if the ambassador to the United States of America in Uganda does not apologize openly to the Ugandan people, he must pack his stuff and leave. This is shocking, fellas, because not many... When last did you hear somebody from Africa say something like this? We're going to dive into this very quickly. So Ugandan first son, military chief, General Muhozi, has told America's ambassador William Pop to apologize to President Museveni or depart from the country as soon as possible. So on the earliest post, this happened all on Twitter. You call it X. We prefer calling it Twitter because we try to stay authentic. It's Twitter. It's on X. You know what I mean? It's Twitter. So he said, disrespecting our beloved and celebrated president and undermining the constitution of Uganda is the reason to this move. It's unacceptable. This is what he says. If this current US ambassador does not apologize to Mze, Mze is what you call like papa, like father, like respected Mze. That's how you call people in Swahili, somebody you respect. If this person doesn't apologize to Mze, Referring to his father. Personally, on Monday, we will demand he leaves Uganda. This is threatening, fellas. I mean, when last did you hear something like this? This is okay. He's the son of the president. He's also a general of the army. If you do not apologize, you leave. Why did he do this? We're going to find out quickly. The Department of the United States of America to Uganda released a release, a press, saying the Department of the U.S. is taking account today to promote accountability for human rights violation committed in Uganda by designating four members of the Ugandan force due to their involvement in gross violation of human rights, namely torture. And, you know, I'm not going to say that because we're going to get sanctioned. So they name a few people here, right? you, you, you know, that they accuse, America accuse. They accuse um, Bob Kagarura, who's a general police commander, Alex Mwine, uh, Commander Mitiana of the different districts and many other people. So a list of people. Then at the end, they said these people and the immediate family member will be ineligible for entry in the United States of America. So these Ugandan people have been accused of doing bad things by America are now being told that they cannot go to the United States of America. And this is one of the reasons why General Muhozi is very angry. And also because he felt like the Department of the United States of America represented in Uganda has been criticizing the local government for its ways of being, for its policies, uh, citing that they're not competent, they're not doing a good job, you know, in low-key calling the president dictator because he's been in power for the past 30 years. So it's unacceptable. So among the people that have been cited, in May this year, the United States Department also released a press saying the designation of Ugandan public officials that the United States deem unworthy of going to the United States. Speaker of Parliament Anita Omongo is designated to involvement in significant corruption tie in the leadership in Uganda. So these people in Uganda, these public servants in Uganda, are being accused by the United States of America of corruption. They cited former Minister Karamoja, Minister of State Finance Amos Lugolobi. They were all being designated in involvement in significant corruption related to misuse of public fund, diverted material from Uganda neediest community, or four officials abuse of their public position and their personal benefit at the expense of Ugandans. So in other words, the United States of America cares more about Ugandans than these public servants of Uganda. Therefore, America is going to punish Ugandan public servants in the name of Ugandan people. And that's the reason why the son of the president is pissed off. And he says the ambassador is bold. 
How can you come in my country and tell me how to live my life and sanction people in my country and show zero respect? Therefore, if you do not apologize until the time frame, you better get your stuff together and get the hell out of this place. Now, can they do this? Yes. A country can revoke diplomatic bodies' legality from their own country by declaring them personal non grata. The Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations 1961 says the receiving states may at any time and without having to explain its decision notify the sending state that the head of the mission or any member of the diplomatic staff or mission is persona non grata. So they can say get out of the country at any time. So General Muhozi went ballistic on Twitter. You know, he said a lot of things. He said, we have no problem with the United States of America. It's a country that we love and admire, obviously. You know, many Africans admire America solely because of the movies. We grew up watching movies like Commando, Rambo, Terminator. We all thought Americans were amazing, these amazing human beings. You know, until I got to America for the first time, that's when I realized, oh, so some Americans are stupid too. Oh, okay. Some of them are ignorant. Like one, one American was surprised because I showed him a video of me in Africa next to a swimming pool and he was like oh my god are there swimming pools in Africa yo are they come here man Mayron there are swimming pools in Africa I was like okay yeah you know we, we watch Batman is American Superman American what's the other guy in Spider-Man American so we tend to think America is this beautiful amazing you know unbreakable country not understanding that the people that they show on TV are the best people in America that they show you on TV but the, the average, well, don't even know where Ethiopia is or Botswana. Anyway, let's continue. He says we have no problem with the US, but lately we have a lot of evidence that they have been working against our government. If anybody is stupid, I'm citing him. If anybody is stupid enough to attack us here in our country, I can promise you, I can only promise them hell, destruction and defeat. Wow. It says Afghanistan will look like picnic compared to our resistance. Our fathers showed us the way. Service is better than slavery, he added. So the man is ready to take up arms. He said, if you play with Ugandans, they're going to remind you that Afghanistan was a picnic. So don't bring that stuff to Uganda, whatever you did to Afghanistan. They're ready. Well, the U.S. Foreign Relations Committee have responded. Bin Cardin said, any further confrontation will be problematic and met with serious response. So if you continue speaking this way, you're going to be met with serious response. Uh, my question is this. Do you think this man will speak for himself without necessarily having his dad's approval? Maybe. It's a possibility, you know. Um, yeah, people get tired sometimes of being treated bad and they will react. So keep in Mind, this is not the Ugandan government speaking. This is a general, a superior commander of the army, who also happens to be the president's son. So he's speaking because clearly they're tired of you telling them what to do. Now, among the people that have been sanctioned is also Anita Onong. Anita Onong, for those of you who don't know, is the speaker of the parliament of Uganda. And many months ago, she was not perceived positively by the United States of America because she passed a law that incriminated men who wanted to be with other you know what I mean? Right? You can't do that in Uganda. Did you get that? Did you get that? Men who want to be with other... You know, in Africa, you have men with women and stuff. So, yeah, generally. In Uganda, they say if you're a man and you want another, you know, like yourself, so you can be in a relation. You know what I'm saying? It's illegal. You're going to go to jail for that. Now, if you happen to train other people to become like you, because they believe you can train people to be like that, you're going to go 14 years in jail. Now, if you happen to have a disease in your bloodstream, you know that stuff that don't heal, okay? And you pass it to somebody through those activities, you're going to, they will chop you, you know, yeah, expose it to the public, expose you so that everybody can see. No, no, they didn't say they will expose it. They will just chop you. No, not chop you like this, but they will just make sure you, you are alive. That's Ugandan law. Now, the lady passed the law. She's uh, the Speaker of the House of Parliament in Uganda. Now, they didn't like her very much because she passed the law. She facilitated passing this law. And they put a lot of pressure on them saying, you need to review this law. It's unacceptable. The Ugandan people say, we are not reviewing the law because... This is our community. Our communities have chosen. The leaders of our community, a spiritual community, traditional community are not 
up for this. They are against us. Therefore, we're keeping this and we're voting it as law. Now, they were banned from going to the United States. She had a 10-year visa that was canceled immediately. A direct family members cannot go to the United States because Uganda choose not to buy by those rules. Now, on the other hand, let me just put it this way for you. In Uganda, you can marry many wives. I mean, it's part of the culture, right? You say you must respect people's cultures and opinions and choices, right? Well, Uganda, you can actually marry two wives like many other places in Africa or more. Can you go to the United States and have legally two, three or four wives? No, they will not accept that. They won't accept that. You might go to jail for that. Now, why is this being forced onto Ugandans if you will not accept their culture? I mean, they also have choices. Some Ugandans want to have three, four wives legally. Would you allow them to do that in the States? I'm just trying to be fair here. It's not possible. So why would you want to go rampant on them? Because they choose not to. I mean, you, you have your style of life. You come from wherever you come from. They come from where they come from. I mean, can you not live with each other and respect each other or whatever? Muhozi didn't stop there, General Muhozi. He doesn't give a continental. This man is strong, just like his dad. He said Russia was right. Yeah, he said that. He said Russia was right. Matter of fact, in February 2022, he said he expressed his support to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He said the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, is absolutely right. If I could, I, we, Uganda would send soldiers to Russia to defend them against imperialism. So, fellas, I want to know what you feel about this. Does Africa need more people like this? Do you think he's speaking very strongly about African interests? Or do you think he's just trying to protect himself because they're doing bad things? Because they have been accused of doing, you know, extrajudicial finishing of people. They've been accused of some bad things, okay, which if you hear them sound like, oh, you know, you know, people, you know, while they're in cells and many other things. Now, do you think he's bold enough to speak out for the country? Like whether they're doing what they're doing, it's none of America's business because what's happened in America cells and Nobody goes and tell America what to do. I mean, Guantanamo Bay, you heard of Guantanamo Bay, where people get treated <laughs> not in the nicest way possible. How many times have they asked to close that bay? It's not closed up until now. Now, can anybody say something about that? Is he fighting the right fight by saying you, you cannot tell us what to do? Or do you think he's just defending the undefendable and America's being the nice guy here? Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. Do you think America will leave the country? Do you think the diplomats of America will dead? I mean, would you, like, if they refuse to leave, what are you going to do? I'm just asking. Would you send soldiers to go attack American ambassador? Because America says, if you dare, it's going to be met with, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Let me know how you feel about this. Does Africa need more people like Muhozi or not? God bless. <laughs>